That so much, it looks so fucking cool. She's here, man. She's awake. She seems normal. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> Good morning, Link. These fucking two. Uh, Cruz. Oh, look on his face, dude. <laughs> oh man. He's like, I hate being blue balled. Yeah, that's a bromance right there. Everyone is happy, bro. We did it. This is the end. Grandma over there. Yeah, give her some love, man. Give her some love. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, shit. Psych. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> this is all very touching, really. I'm afraid I have to cut this conversation. Emo ah! But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this emotional moment short. <laughs> it's best for everyone if you forget about your friend. The little goddess is mine now. Link, get up, man! <sighs> Damn. He hurt Link! My master may have perished in this age, but in the past, he lives yet! I'm taking the girl back through that gate to help me revive the Demon King! <sighs> You've been so adorably dogged in your quest to get in my way, and as much as it has delighted me, I can no longer tolerate your nipping at my heels. No, boy, you've really pushed me too far. The moment I sweated and bled for it is at hand. I don't even have the time to grind my heel into a worm like you. Not now! <laughs> Damn, that really- Link is really injured, dude. What the hell? This always made no sense to me. But I love this right here. Cruz is like, you ain't getting through, bitch. Stand down. You're in my way. And the sight of your appalling hair makes my gorge rise. Damn. You did not have to do him like that, bro. 
Job of spoiling my plans to revive the Demon King in this age, so I see no point in dawdling here. <laughs> but the past, oh, the past, so full of possibilities. I shall resurrect him there with the divine soul of this gold haired girl! <laughs> Where are you going? Man, get back here! <laughs> for Zelda to be taken for us at a time like this, it is unthinkable! Link, listen to me. You must do whatever it takes to prevent the resurrection of Demise in the past. Quickly now, open the gate of time and return to the past! <laughs> you gotta chase after that creep, Link! Zelda's counting on you! Alright, let's do it! This is it! The final confrontation. <laughs> For any of you who haven't seen the uh, the finale of this game, I think it's really fucking epic, man. I love it. <laughs> Impa! Arr! Link, it's Girahim. He appeared out of the thin air and got the drop on me. Don't worry about me. You must chase after him. He ran through the great doors at the front of the temple. You may yet catch him before it's too late. Hurry! Alright, let's... Before we get a move on, let's save... Real quick, I don't want to lose all my progress, like I did last time. And, uh, yeah. No time like the present, I shall say. Or past, because we're in the past. Did it? No? Okay, that was fucking horrible. I'm gonna shut up. One fairy, so we're good there. Oh shit. We got some horn guys. No! I think we just got him. Yes, we did. Alright, here you ain't curly! Oh shit. We got bombers! Man, fuck you and your bombs!
let's go, let's go! Archers! It's worth it just to blow those guys up intentionally. Special little goblin. What the hell is this guy's deal? He's like a ninja. Go, 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 go! Yeah, this is straight up my role right here, dude. Too quick, boy. I realize a simple child like you knows nothing of magic, but spells like this take time and a steady hand. Can't you wait quietly like a good boy? You petulant brat, you've pushed me too far. I've waited my whole existence for this. This is my moment. You know what? Fine! If you're so intent on hurrying to your grave, I'll be happy to show you the way! Yada yada yada. This time here, though, no heroic escape. I was a fool to toy with you and let you walk away with your life before you, but I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> This arena here, it's so sick. <laughs> if only I put you in the place you were there to get you, shoot you in little mercy, and next thing you know, he thinks himself your equal. Given my station, I had to maintain some semblance of dignity, so I let you run with your life. Twice even, such a guilty pleasure. 
but instead of scurrying away like any creature with the basic instinct to survive, you just kept coming back again and again and again. <laughs> I've let a mere boy make a fool of me for the last time. You stand for a demon, or should I say, a weapon without mercy. <laughs> His eyes. <laughs> prepared a most appropriate and humiliating death. I even have a pet name for it. I'll call it the Endless Plunge. First, I will take my time bludgeoning you, and when I grow bored of it, I will drive you to the edge and deliver a last strike to send you falling to your doom. Thanks for telling me how to beat you, man. I'll delight in casting your body into the, this pit and snuffing out the flame your, of your life. Your broken body will serve as fine sustenance for the Demon King. All right, let's do it. Let's scrap already! Oh, get it! Gotcha, bitch! This is actually pretty easy. The third phase, I would say, is probably the most difficult. Or the last phase. We're not quite there yet. Get down, bitch! Come on, bitch! Stab! This is not good. Hey, shit. I need to learn how to parry. And now we gotta stab him in the fucking spot in the center. Oh, he's doing this now. He got me! Show me what you got! You wretched brat! Here we go! He's got the big sword out!
this is the worst uh, part. This, this is preposterous. Driven to my knees by a simple child of man. Laughable. No matter how many times we clash, I can't prevail. You think I can't defeat you? You think I can't win? Boy, what are you? I am the hero of legend, bitch. Ah, oh, but never mind that. Victory is still mine to savor. While we fought the ritual, I started and continued. At last, it's complete. The dedication of the power of the soul of the goddess and resurrect to this full glory. Oh no. Again, this thing just can't fucking give up. This guy, man. <laughs> Welcome back to us, Master. This is him, Demise. Dude, this one with Demise looks so fucking cool. Oh, man. There goes Gear on him.
love a man. Link, I... I caught her. She's okay. had some info for you. The old girl says it'll take time for that grease wad to absorb Zelda's soul completely. If you can take him down before her soul gets all sucked up into that thing, you might still have a chance. Hey, right. I know you can do it. So, yeah, you gotta do this. You're all Zelda's got. You've gotta make this happen. Oh, this is so epic, dude. So cool. It's up to you now, Link. All right, final box battle time. Here we fucking go. Master Link, I have information. For you. Once you enter this portal, my analysis indicates a 0% chance that you will be able to return, unless you are able to vanquish your foes. Are you ready to proceed? I'm ready. Understood, Master Link. Know that even in the place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you. And Master, good luck. It's up to us now, bye. Jeez, I hope I don't fuck up this fight. <laughs> this final <laughs> boss fight can honestly go either way, depending on your play style. <laughs> oh, so you decided to meet your end in battle after all. It pleases me greatly to see such misplaced valor, human. Take a moment to appreciate your surroundings, for where we stand shall serve as your tomb for eternity. The hate for the gods that has boiled in my veins. You will taste all of it in the bite of my blade. The only question left is how long you will manage to remain standing before I can take your life. Try to keep it interesting for me, would ya? And when you do fall, know that your world and everything in it is mine to dominate, mine to subjugate, mine to rule. 
when I finish with you, you can take solace in knowing your friends and kin will soon follow as I wipe all the walls from the face of this world. Take the Triforce for my own. going on here. Got him that time.
He got me. My right stick is fucking done at this point. <laughs> did it, man. We fucking did it. I have confirmed the eradication of the Demon King. His residual consciousness has been absorbed into the Master Sword and is now sealed away. Done well, Link. <laughs> there they are, Link. Thank you. I think it's over. Finally, it's all over. Don't cry, man. Nice knowing you two. You guys are totally amazing in this little adventure I like to call The Legend of Gruz. I would totally play that game, dude. That's a little joke. Aw, oh, really? Why you gotta tease us like that, Nintendo? Joke or not, your contributions to our efforts were heroic. You have all my thanks. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, well, you know, just glad I could make myself useful. I'm happy things turned out okay. Boy. Hey, 
So things look pretty sewn up here. What do you say, guys? Ready to head back to our own time? Granny was really worried about you two. We don't want to keep the old girl in suspense too long. <laughs> Hylia, your grace, or perhaps you prefer Zelda, it pleases me to know you are safe. Master, I must speak with you. Master Link, you have successfully protected the goddesses reborn and defeated Demise, fulfilling your role as the hero of legend. My purpose here is complete. Therefore, I ask you to dissolve our arrangements as master and servant. Drive the sword into the pedestal before you, and I will return to the swords you enter and sleep without no end. <laughs> master, you have achieved the purpose you were chosen to fulfill. Please, set the sword in the pedestal and bring the goddess's mission to an end. Now, Master, it is time to conclude our necessary companionship. No! Say what you will about Fi, man. This part of the game does get me a little bit in the feels. So I'm just gonna shut up and let it play out. the capability to fully understand the human spirit. But now, at the end of my journey with you, as I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever, I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion, but I believe this feeling correlates closest to what your people call happiness. Our partnership is at an end. And even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me to the sword, I wish to relay to you words that I recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you. Master Link, may we meet again in another life. What? Impa, why? Come with us! Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I am a being of this age. My place is here. I... I 
know that, but... <sighs> you must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. <laughs> I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together. I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us! <laughs> Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid in the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of demise are decaying slowly within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. <laughs> this is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again. The knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Arizona. You and I will surely meet again someday. the game of time. <laughs> the two of them are so happy. his face <laughs> thank you thank you for everything
Yes, man. Fuck yeah. And that's it. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Man, I need to turn this down. This volume's really fucking loud. So, uh... I'm really glad I did a playthrough for this game, man. Honestly, like, this... Skyward Sword has always been a very, like, special game to me. Um, I know, it, you know, it, it used to catch a lot of shit back in the day for being, you know, probably, a, like, the most, like, lackluster Zelda game ever, but, um, I mean, not ever, but, like, I mean, a lot of people didn't like certain things about this game, like, nothing in the Sky region, like, barely anything to do in the Sky region. And I think these cutscenes here are, uh... Were these part of the original game? I don't know if these were added in or not. But, um... I've always loved this game, man. I still remember waiting at GameStop, like, an hour before they opened to, like, pick up my fucking copy of this game, bro. Like, I was so fucking ready to play this. And when I did finally play it, like, dude, I fell in love with this game. Of course, it took me a while to beat it because it took me a long time to beat games back then. And I kind of sucked at Zelda back then. I was still getting into it. Uh, either Phantom Hourglass or Twilight Princess. One of those two games is the uh, the first Zelda game that I ever played. And then after those games was basically this game. I didn't play Wind Waker or Ocarina of Time or any of those other classics until after I played through um, this game. But... Yeah, I mean, this game is technically in the in the t confusing ass Zelda timeline. It's the chronologically, it's the first Zelda game. Um, this is where it all began, and I have always loved this game. To be honest, like I just um, oh, dude, this is like what happened to her while we were chasing her in the beginning of the game. This is her side of the story. Holy shit! Now I see. Yeah, I mean, overall, if I could rate Skyward Sword, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. It's not quite a 10 out of 10 for me, but this remaster does fix a lot of things about the original game that I had issues with. Allowing you to skip cutscenes, allowing you to skip through dialogue, certain animations, like repetitive animations being skipped. Um, and uh, overall, I mean, I enjoy the... Uh, the analog controls more than the motion controls to be honest because like it takes a little while to get used to but when you do get used to it you can play this game with a controller like no problem it's just something that requires a little bit of skill um not like i don't like the motion controls on the hd remake the motion controls are kind of a mess because the joy cons don't have as good of like a detection on them as the uh original Wii Motion Plus controllers do, so all in all, I prefer to play this game analog. I think that's the, the, the right way to do it. Um, but the thing you gotta take note of is if you're planning on multiple playthroughs of this game like I was, I mean, this is the second time I've played through this game this year, playing through it in the classic control method really fucks with your right stick. I mean, this is my second playthrough of the game, and I can tell you right now, I'm gonna need new controllers, dude, because I've been swinging this fucking sw my sword like crazy in the last like two hours of this game, which means I've been flicking that right stick like crazy. But aside from that, the fully controllable 3D camera, the upgraded visuals, the 60 FPS, which again, regrettably, I couldn't capture in these last four parts. But aside from you know that right stick annoyance. I love this remake, man. This is an awesome remake or remaster. And um, I don't think I'm going to play through it again anytime soon, you know, but I enjoy doing an actual playthrough of it. I'm glad that I have this game on my channel now. I mean, it's the fourth official Zelda game that I've played through now. And um, is it? Wait, hold on. Let me think. Yeah, Breath of the Wild, Wind Waker, Link's Awakening, and now this. Yeah, so um, next to. Breath of the Wild is the second largest uh, Zelda playthrough I have. Um, it's a pretty lengthy game, as y'all can tell. I mean, I don't know how long these last four parts are going to be. I'm guessing they're going to be pretty lengthy. We'll see. Won't know until I fucking edit them. 
but uh, I've literally got like five and a half hours worth of footage. Uh, no, I've got like six hours worth of footage here to edit through. A lot of it is just me grinding for materials, so I'm guessing I have more like four hours of footage. But um, yeah, I love this game, man. I'll, it'll always hold that special place in my heart, man. And um, I just get all sorts of waves of nostalgia every single time I play through it. But I love the visuals too, again, like one last time, I gotta praise the fact that the visuals in this game, the like painterly art-esque style, I just, I fuck with it so hard. Um, but yeah, um, overall that's my review of Skyward Sword, I really enjoyed playing through it. Hope I'm not being too repetitive at this point, but... We're at the special thanks, so I think we're at the end of these credits because there is another one last scene that plays, so, um, yeah. I will, uh, see you guys when that scene comes on. Pour us down here now, too. And our birdies. Our loft wings. Yes, look at them. Oh, Bass. Bass is celebrating. <laughs> I forgot that they came down here in the end. Look around us! As a child, I always dreamed of a world b below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm b breeze beneath ah, on my skin. I, I think I want to live here. I always want to feel solid gr ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. Yeah. What about you, Link? What will you do now? <laughs> and that's it. That's officially the end. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this playthrough, please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.